convenience store clerk in Marion County faces grand theft charges tonight. Investigators say he stole a winning lottery ticket worth hundreds of dollars from a customer. Customer, though, turned out to be an undercover special agent with the Florida lottery. News 6 reporter Matt Petrillo is live at the Marusha Food Mark in Ocala. That's where this sting happened. So, Matt, did investigators say they targeted this particular location for any reason? Well, detectives say it happened for one of two reasons. Either someone else was scammed out of a ticket at this store behind me, so the Florida Lottery investigated, or it was just a routine undercover investigation. No matter the case, though, when we caught up with that man after he bonded out of jail, he told us he was innocent. No, 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 no. It was a misunderstanding between me and that officer. Luck seemed to run out for 53-year-old Ahmed Kashwari, now accused of pocketing a $600 winning lottery ticket from a Florida lottery special agent. Detectives say the undercover agent walked into the food mart on Jacksonville Road Tuesday and handed Kashwari the ticket to have it validated. Kashwari scanned the ticket, and the machine made a distinctive noise, just like this, <laughs> signaling it was a winner. But Kashwari told the agent he heard nothing, meaning the ticket was worthless. I, I, I didn't hear the, uh, the sound, a winning sound. And from that uh, officer's side, it was something he heard. And that was uh, some confusion, that's it. But court documents show when agents came back to the store to arrest Kashwari, they found this same ticket in his right front pants pocket. News 6 went to the store today to find out if Kashwari is still working there. Can we talk to you real briefly? A clerk told us he's been fired. Has anything like that ever happened here before? No, sir. Never. It's never happening. Now customers say they'll pay closer attention to that winning lottery sound. <laughs> We're always listening for that sound, so I think when someone does the sound and they put it in their pocket, it's like a little, like, corrupt. And at this point, people can still play the lottery here, but if investigators find other workers not being honest, the state can forbid the store from selling lottery tickets. In Ocala, Matt Petrillo, News 6. Very interesting, Matt. Thank you.